So if you want to play with your little minifigures, with your little brother and sister, and go, hey, we're fighting here, Chinese opera style. Hiya! It's like a weapon. But hold it this way. Bah! Weapon rooftop. So the question now is, do I like this or do I not like it? Did they improve their brick building ways? Find out right now on Brick Me Up Scotty! Forget it, whatever I said there, I really, really suck in speaking Cantonese. Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and this one is a doozy. So, I know I promised you guys I was going to do the Silk Road. It's just right around the corner, but I finished building this, and it's fresh off my mind. This is brand new, so I figured why not just review it for you guys first and then we'll go back to those sets because you know there's plenty of reviews on those other ones support the other channels and support the other guys but you know i'll get to it but for now check it out whoa so what you're seeing here is singbo's chinese theater xb01020 3820 pieces Woo! so this is part of the chinatown series you know it's not available anywhere else in the other brands so you can't find it so you have to buy it from them if you like this style and we have it available on brickmeupscotty.com Brand new, yo, 2018. I was so happy when I received it. I put it together pretty quickly. However, it's not quite perfect. I think they still have some things to work on, but it's pretty cool. Look, first thing is, it's based on a Chinese opera house, Chinese theater. We have plenty of these in Hong Kong. Not quite like this, but you know, it's, it's over-exaggerated for sure. But I love how they make this whole front. It's supposed to be wood, you know? It has that effect It really looks good. If you don't touch the set, don't move it around. It will look beautiful just sitting on your shelf. Look at that. I'm just looking here at the monitor what you guys are seeing because it looks so cool. But as I said, there are issues, so keep on watching and you'll, you'll see that. Oh, look, you can see the rooftop there already. Oh, maybe I should move it a little bit closer. There we go. Now, now it's really funny. This thing is actually quite big and it's got like so much detail here, but it still feels really crammed on the inside. And this is probably one of the sets where I'm not really ever going to really open it up and play around inside of it. But the front here is supposed to be a stage and it's really hard to get the minifigures to even stand inside there. They tiled the whole thing, but they didn't leave any little studs pieces so that they can just sit there. So you might want to customize that yourself if you're going to buy this. There's a lot of customization I think you can do on the inside. Now I should quickly mention that everything was built really solid until I came to the rooftop part. Then I kind of realized, ooh, that's, that's where the imperfections are on this set. They didn't quite get that down. Not the actual rooftop itself. Those builds are fine. It's when it all comes together where it kind of goes, uh, yeah, they still need to work on that a little bit. I'm gonna take off the rooftop so I can actually see this a little bit better so you guys can see how I'm taking this off. There you go, there's the rooftop. Nice and solid, put that there. And we can take this rooftop off. So you got this main little stage there. I guess that's where they're gonna do their performance because this is a theater, Chinese opera style, and it does come with some extra accessories. You're gonna see that in a bit. I'll show you all what it looks like with the minifigures to scale. You got these nice little concrete looking balls. They look, they look nice actually. And then you got the flowers here along both sides. The flower pots on the plants are a little bit weird, the orange color. I think that's the only thing that kind of like, maybe it's too outstanding. And you know, they're repetitive. It's repeating there. It's actually kind of repetitive here, but the build didn't feel like that. It felt really fast and easy to do, and it didn't feel boring. Then move along to the sides here. Now the windows here, I think I'm, I'm actually missing a piece right there. Yeah, I am. But anyway, uh, one thing I don't like about this is on both sides, their windows are flushed in, but they're not super tight and they're kind of built sideways and it kind of feels like it's less secure. So, you know, you do have to be kind of careful for that. Flip it to the back here. In the back, you got the small little hallway that you can actually walk along. You got these pillars here, but it's nice. It's a nice touch. It looks very Asian. And when you have the rooftop there, it looks like it's out of a movie. It's a scene from a film. How beautiful is that? That actually looks pretty okay. That looks cool, I like that. Same deal on the side, it repeats on the other side. And like I said, kind of flimsy, or these little pieces are just gonna just move around there. You know, so this is more of a showcase thing. You're gonna wanna just make it loose, nice and straight, leave it, don't touch it. Okay, so back along the front here, I absolutely love the staircase and this whole design here. It looks like wood, like I said, even the staircase. Totally different style of staircase I've seen that I've built and it felt really fresh. This little platform, the stage, it fits in nicely. Everything is really nice and secure, very, very snug. Until you start getting here to the top, when you want to put the rooftop, everything has to be like balanced out really, really well, or it's going to topple off. So my tip for this kind of thing is when you're putting the rooftop on, just don't try to flush it down, because if you're going to flush it down, you might just go 
bah, and smash everything down. I mean, if you're an expert, go ahead and do it. But if you just, you know, if you're if you're an easygoing person, just put the rooftop on very nicely and softly and just leave it as is. Nothing's gonna happen to it, it's heavy enough. All right, so behind here on the stage, which is, actually this is part of the stage too, I feel it's a little bit too crammed. Okay, the, the thing is with this set, it's actually quite high, but it's so narrow on the inside. There's no way I can fit my freaking hands in there. Look at that, it's like so tight. The minifigures are actually really cool. We're gonna see that in a second, but we you know, they could have just built one stage. But on the front here, on the stage, you have what looks like a box. That so reminds me of Hellraiser, the puzzle box. If you kiddies have not seen Hellraiser, go watch it and have nightmares forever. I even had to ask my wife, what is that? And Ida said it was a table, so it's a table. And there are the two chairs, they're like thrones. So behind the table on the two chairs, there is a small little symbol there. I think that's just like pattern. I'm not quite sure what that's trying to be or what that's doing. On the back here, even thinner, and you can really barely get your hands in there too. It's gonna to be really hard to, to put minifigures in there, but you can barely just fit them inside. It's so narrow here in the hallway, you can't even open the door in the back there. It's like blocked by that cabinet. As for the furniture, they're actually really good. Like they're using simple pieces, but it stands out and it looks very oriental. It looks very Asian. You got what looks like a shelf there. I'm pretty sure that's a shelf to put all their clothes, but you can't really fit anything in there. I'm assuming that's a mirror on the makeup table, some powder there and a little lamp. I like the chairs. I like how they use the wrench for the, the rest for your back. And it just looks good, looks really cool. It's just unfortunate you can't really see it. And this cabinet here, the doors actually open up. You can't open it when it's in there. It's so hard to get your fingers in there. If I lift it up here like this, that is really, really tight to get in there. That's like no room whatsoever. So you can kind of see the dresser and the makeup table and the, another table there on the end. Kind of a shame, you know, as you saw earlier at the opening, you're really looking at this part. I think the most outstanding part when it's kind of together. The other thing you have in there is a chair. A little table with a teacup on it and a little, uh, this looks like a more of a wardrobe hanger thing to hang clothes. And that's pretty much it. That's, I thought it was going to be multiple floors. I thought there was going to be like two levels, something else happening. No, it's just one high level that's very crammed to me. Now the wall here that's dividing the theater in between them, they kind of cheapened out. They didn't use real brick, so it's just like, uh, like a filler. I just, I just kind of wish they kind of thought about this inside area more. Now, it's just so unfortunate, man. You know what? I'd rather actually take off this wall right here. I'm gonna sh just do it for you guys right now. Check it out. Now that the wall's down, look, it's totally open. I'd rather have the theater like this. And then you got the rooftop. You guys saw the rooftop. I like it. I like the build. It just, it gets really flimsy when you start putting all these back on, you know? Don't get frustrated, things will always fall off because that's just the way these are. You know, go backwards or sometimes take bigger pieces off and then come back and do smaller pieces. Then it'll be much, much easier for you to deal with. Don't push it in place perfectly because it won't fit in place. It's really, really difficult. I found it very difficult. If you can do it, congratulations, you passed the test. So from the top here, we got the sign that says Chinese theater. Let you know that this is a theater. And the one underneath there in red is Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which is based on a Chinese novel, which has been turned into plenty of films and video games. You can Google it. But anyway, I was missing a piece behind that sign, and it's okay. I kept my cool, found my spare parts, and you really can't tell unless you look at it from this angle. But I'll show it to you guys. You see, there's one piece there gone. And you know, that stuff doesn't really bother me. So these are the only two signs that are stickers. The rest are all printed. And then on the front, here along the two sides, you got more signs here. They're all like little Chinese signs. They're a little bit loose here. You can like rotate them. But now, you know, they only got one way if you want to really read them properly. Contribution from five goats. I know that sounds weird, right? Contribution from five goats. It's probably a deeper meaning to that. If you want to translate it even better or let people know what you think about those signs, go ahead. The other side is blessing from eight horses. Blessings from five goats, blessing from eight horses. It's kind of a blessing from Chinese New Year's. That's the meaning of that there. And then you got these two little flag things here, which both fall off really, really easy, as you just saw. Surprisingly, these are the only two things that really fall off the whole set. Now on these signs that keep falling down, they have little flags with symbols on them. And then one Chinese word they're repeating, and it says, win. Win, win, yo. Now for the actual rooftop itself, like I mentioned earlier, the rooftop is really sturdy. It's really fun to build. There's a lot of little green slopes here. And, but this time they didn't double it up like the other sets that we've seen. They put like these little, I don't know what those pieces are called, where you like snap them together, the other pieces. The gold dragons are really cool. And I do like the gold finishing on the corners of each of the rooftop. So the final top bit of this roof is actually really flimsy. This will really fall apart on you. There's so many small pieces there that can collapse. So do be careful when you're building that. Don't touch it. I kind of wish they had that a little bit more well thought out and designed, but from the look of it, as you're seeing it on the camera, it does look really cool. 
It's just, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought they had it nailed down like, oh, this is gonna be a perfect, really easy build. It was easy, it's just really flimsy. I just wish it was just more secure. And of course, we got the minifigures and their accessories. Let me pull them out right now. These are supposed to be kind of like laid out here like that. You get the idea of the audience sitting there, there's the benches, chairs, and they're watching this play that's going on there. Now for the outside tables and outside chairs, same deal, they're like the inside ones. They're using very simple pieces but they look absolutely fantastic. I think they look really cool. I love the little table there with the teacup on top and how they designed the legs. They do fall off easy, but you know, you're just gonna place it down and it looks really cool. Now for the minifigures, we got so many here, I'm not gonna name them. Let's just talk about their detail this time. And I'll be back with minifigures for the next set with your names on them. No particular order, you got this guy and he looks like he came from the brothel last time I showed you that video. I'm really sorry that video is not for kids. If you haven't seen the brothel, it's here and they actually upgraded that model into a restaurant. So I can probably redo that video for you guys, make it more clean. Yeah, for families, kids, I don't know what the difference is on the set itself. Maybe I'll get another one and rebuild it. But anyway, you got this cool looking dude. Look at the smirk on his face. The printing is actually pretty okay. I like the outfit. It's very Chinese New Year's outfit. And these are the new minifigures where the arms can move out and up and down and to the side. Okay, next up you got this guy. He looks like the servant. It works here at the theater. Got freckles on his face, got a cap on, and got a nice brown color. It's quite different from the rest of the group. Then you got this guy, I don't know quite sure what he's doing. His hair piece is actually a little bit loose. He's more of a simpleton. He looks not so complex, but he's got a nice little blue outfit min lap on there. Now we're coming to the females. We got this lady in white ribbon. I think she's one of the performers, or she could be an audience member. I'm not quite sure. So you got this girl, these are actually, I think the same ones from the brothel, but anyway, she's got a green bow tie on there and she's got a marking on her forehead. And you got another girl here. She looks a little bit more traditional with a little rose pattern there on the front of her dress. She also has a marking on her head. We got two more girls here in red. You got one with a little rose there and nice little jacket, nice printing, no problems there. And you got one more here with a robe on Nice prints. At least all the minifigure printings are slightly different from one another. And finally, you got the cool guys here. Nice design. Yeah, I think these are the performers. You got this guy with a spear and a sword. He is awesome looking. Same face as deer. Got like a little bit of hair there. He looks really like a, like a Dragon Ballish kind of character. Nice helmet. And you got finally got this guy. He's so cool. I like this guy quite a lot. He's green. He's so different. Got this green outfit on. Got this crazy beard and his face is painted red, just like in a Chinese theater plays. He's got this crazy cool black flowing hair and a giant sword. I'm pretty sure that these two guys are the performers. So let's put them in their seats and you can, guys can see what they look like in the set. So there you guys go, the Chinese theater from Zingbao. It's available on brickmeupscotty.com or you can buy it from wherever you like to buy it from. Anyway, oh, it's nice, I like it. It goes very well with the Chinatown series. I look forward to seeing more. I'll build the other sets for you guys and I'll get onto the Silk Road right now. So until next time, you guys, brick me out. Dude, you're looking like Sailor Moon over there. Why are you looking so angry again? Angry deer. My head cut off this whole time. Oh no, we have to readjust the camera. But that's okay. The rooftop. I look like I screwed something up already. Did I? 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 Oh no, I did. Okay, this is right. I built it correctly. I thought I did something wrong, but no, I did it right. This is correct. So, like I said, keep the rooftop. Blah blah blah.
<laughs> okay. And one back here. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's really tricky. Oh, and they're just all falling over. That's what I mean. Like, it's so hard to actually get in there and get the minifigure in there. Wait! It's got! It's so good, like, yeah! Ding, that guy, you're a girl! Mahua! You're going to hide the eye, I'm a! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Scotty will be back with even more. Okay, go back to fighting with your toys. I'll catch you guys later.